All right, so we are here with Tyler Powell, Brophy tight end. Uh, just made your commitment to the University of Arizona. Congratulations. Uh, what was it about the Wildcats that made you want to choose them? Um, you know, first thing, uh, ever since day one, you know, uh, when Coach Powell was at UNLV, you know, he, he made sure to really build that relationship with me at the start. And, you know, ever since then, I've been talking to him, you know, almost every week, um, just kind of him checking in and, and building that good relationship. Um, and then when I went down there for the visit, you know, there was a certain love that all the coaches showed for me um, that kind of just sat well with me. Um, and so, so I would say that definitely is a big factor, um, as well as the location. You know, obviously uh, it, it's close to home. It's right in, a, right in my backyard, you know, two hour drive. Um, so, so that means a lot of my family members will be able to come out and, you know, support me. Um, but at the same time, it's like uh, a long distance away, you know, where I can get away from home. Um, and, you know, I, they have a good, you know, you know uh, Eller uh, business program over there that I liked. Um, and, so, you know, just everything about it, you know, really just, just sat well with me. I really liked the culture of the program and, you know, everything that was going on in there. So, You mentioned tight ends coach Jordan Pow Pow uh, has recruited Arizona no matter where he was, whether it was Washington, UNLV, now at Arizona. How would you describe him as a recruiter? Um, as a recruiter, you know, he's really energetic. You know, he, he really makes me feel like I'm like his guy, which, which really was important to me. Um, you know, he's just super energetic, super, you know, positive about, about everything and just the excitement um, of like waiting for me to get there with, to see him um, and be with him so he can coach me. It just, it was, it was the best part, so. U of A hasn't really utilized the tight end much, but it seems like they're they're going to more uh, with this new coaching staff. You also have a, a couple guys in your recruiting class at the position already committed. What have they talked to you about the role you'll play as a tight end within that offense? Um, basically, like like a like a, a Swiss Army knife, you know, just being able to you know block for the run game, but also be able to go out for passes and you know catch balls that way. So, you know, being like the jack of all trades in the offense. Um, and so I think uh, Coach Pow Pow really hits it hard in that aspect that we'll be able to do anything on the field. Every new coaching staff in the state has said, we're going to close the border and we're going to uh, you know, really try to recruit Arizona, the in-state, really hard. It seems like this staff early on is really putting their money where their mouth is. You have multiple guys now uh, from big time programs here around the state uh, committing to Arizona. Uh, how often have you talked to some of those commits or some of those targets to really try to build up that, that in-state class? Um, you, you know, when I was on my visit, uh, I talked to some of the other recruits a little bit. And, um, you know, I, I was able to build a relationship with them that way. So, so we started talking um, within that. Um, so I think um, if I continue to build this relationship with the other recruits, I think it can go a long way uh, when I get there um, next year. So. Where are you looking to grow as a tight end here with this senior year now that you have your decision made? You know, I, I think I'm, I'm really looking to just have fun and, you know, uh, not worry about like how I look to, to other people. Um, you know, when I'm playing, I'm able to just focus on my craft and kind of get better every day, um, as opposed uh, for, for playing for something like a goal. Um, um, obviously, I have goals, but I can just play for myself instead of, you know, trying to play for somebody else, which is my favorite part about it. So, uh, With this senior class here for Brophy, you now have, what, Zach at, at Texas, uh, Ben at Washington, now you at Arizona. What's it been like? You have also have plenty of the other teammates getting recruited. What's it been like? going through this process together um, and, and being able to kind of bounce ideas off of each other, navigating the recruitment together. Um, it's really awesome. You know, I don't feel like I'm alone in the process. You know, me, Ben, and Zach, and, you know, you know we're, we're able to just pick each other up and kind of, we, we kind of know what, what we're going through um, ourselves. So um, it's really nice to have those guys to be able to kind of, you know, know what I'm going through and kind of just be there to congratulate me and then I'm there to congratulate them and their successes as well. So. Um, that's definitely the best part. How's this Brophy coaching staff, Coach Jewel, this Brophy community help get you to where you are today? Um, they've helped me get me where I are. You know, one of the things obviously Brophy talks about is men for others. And I think um, a coach, coach Jewel hits really hard on not only on the field, but off the field, you know, what we do as a team. You know, um, it's important to the community and ourselves that we, we do what we can for the community um, outside of football. Um, and that includes like school, um, and just other things in the community, like, you know, helping out. Um, and so it's not just all on the field. And um, I think Coach Jewell uh, hits that pretty hard. For Arizona fans that may not have 
seen you play, what can they expect out of you the next next couple of years here with the Wildcats? You know, I, I'm I'm ready for whatever. You know, if they if they want me to to stick stick it with the with the linemen and and block for the run for the run game, I'm down for that. Um, and if they want me to you know flex out and run some run some routes, I'm also good with that. So I think I think people can really expect anything with me, and I'm I'm willing to do whatever. So.